Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Sofia and today we are going to make a faux sleeve shirt. Um, first we start by uh, placing the pattern pieces on fabric and we're gonna have front and back bodice, um, short sleeve, long sleeve and neck band. Those are the pieces. And uh, we're gonna cut them and sew them together. <laughs> I use contrasting fabric for the long sleeves and the neck band. Okay, we have all the pieces cut out. Front two short sleeves, two long sleeves, and a neck band. I trim the long sleeve to create a far long, a long sleeve with um, the short sleeve. We connect the shoulder seams with pins and sew them together. I use the serger to sew them. It's easier for me and it has a nice finished uh, seam. Okay, now I'm gonna mark the middle of the sleeve and connect it to the shoulder seam so that we know where to pin. installed to the bodice okay perfect now is the time to connect the long sleeve to create the fa sleeve and I use the cover stitch machine for this because um, it gives it a nice low finished seam and it's really pretty like that okay now we're gonna also hem the sleeves at the wrist so that would be the end of the sh of the sleeve right here I'm clipping it and I'm gonna use the cover stitch machine for that too we're almost done with the sweater shirt so now we're gonna clip and sew the side seams sleeves included so we're gonna start from the wrist making sure the fabric is not twisted and um, we match the seams where the two sleeves connect okay just to make it look neat And then the side seams of the bodice. So we're gonna match it at the armpit. And we're gonna match the, uh, the stripes also. I like to match the stripes so that the shirt looks nice. Prettier like that. So yeah. 
ahead and make sure you match the stripes because if you don't, it's going to look weird. And you want the stripes to overlap. Okay. So it's done with that and we're gonna sew those. I used the surgeon also. left is to hem the bottom and to install the neck band which I'm doing right here I'm gonna first use the serger to connect the neck band to the bodies and then I'm gonna use the cover stitch machine to give it a nice little top stitch so first we're gonna sew it like that Okay, now we're gonna pin the end of the, the bottom of the shirt. So we're done with the side seams, with the neck band. Gonna clip and um, sew the bottom of the shirt and we're done. use the cover stitch machine for this seam. Okay, so we're sewing it. Okay, perfect. It looks decent. Um, you are done. Thanks for watching and um, please subscribe to my channel.